Po Technologies has just announced a new product for the AI sector and a new purchase order to go with it. Here to discuss details is Raju Kankapati, the company's Senior Vice President of Product Management. Raju, good to see you again. Hey, Jim. Good to see you. So tell us, first question, what is Poet Starlight? So Poet Starlight is a multi-laser, multi-wavelength light engine. So that can power up silicon photonic devices for very high bandwidth, chip-to-chip -chip communication for the artificial intelligence applications. So using light to communicate instead of electrical uh, interfaces has several benefits. So light consumes less power, generates less heat, and can go uh, to much higher speeds. However, the challenge with light is the alignment, the coupling of light in the system. That's the biggest challenge. So Poet Starlight addresses these challenges and provides an optimized solution for very high volume deployments. The product itself, it's a four channel or an eight channel light source which has passively integrated uh, high power continuous wave lasers and other passive optical components that couple light into the fiber. So it is a completely packaged solution that customers can actually directly use it in their AI accelerator solutions. Right, and Poet has a lead customer in the space, Celestial AI, and you know Poet is a photonics company and a lot of the focus has been on what it can do for data centers. But why does this technology also work for AI? A great question. So Poet's optical interposer technology fundamentally lends itself as a high volume, low cost packaging solution or a packaging platform for photonics. So data centers have been using optics for interconnects for several decades, right? And it was natural for Poet to focus on that market. But now with the growth of AI and as the implementations move from electrical to optical connections and several of these AI accelerator chips, they've started using silicon photonics. So it kind of naturally plays into what we are good at doing. So what our core differentiation of passive alignments and wafer scale assembly is something that the AI market needs. And I think they have to adopt something like this to meet and maintain the cost targets. So we can actually, our light engines can power up the silicon photonic based AI accelerators. So that's why uh, we are uh, we started developing products for this market. And you know the Poet Starlight news announcement said production will start in 2024. What happens between now and then? So we have shipped some early alpha samples to customer for validation of the technology and performance. So now we are actually working on the final design that can be manufactured in high volume and of course optimized in cost. So we will have alpha samples of the design of this final design in the next few months. And then we will move the final design uh, into the uh, beta phase where we freeze everything. And then we ship uh, some of these samples, beta design samples to customers for their development activity with their system. At the same time, we will also go through a reliability testing of the Starlight products, which will take about four to six months. And then after that, we will be in full production for the Starlight products. And I assume that as this happens, Poet and Celestial are working together uh, as co-development partners uh, uh, to bring this to market? Definitely. I mean, we have been working with Celestial for quite some time now. So our marketing teams, we have been collaborating on product and cost requirements, while our engineering teams have been working together on coming up with a solution that's manufacturable by Poet and usable by Celestial in the system. So both companies have worked on selecting some key components, and we will continue uh, to collaborate on picking the right partners for various aspects of the projects as we move along. And you kind of hinted at it that uh, you know the technology the Poet has developed is kind of in the right place at the right time with the right solution for AI, and you know that's that's really exciting. And I think uh, with the AI chip market projected to reach two hundred and sixty-three billion by 2031, and that's just the hardware part of it. Uh, you have to ask, are, are you guys working on other solutions for AI to take advantage of that growth? Yes, definitely. I mean, since our platform naturally plays well into the AI needs, so we've been in discussion with a few other customers in this space. We are also part of the CWWDM MSA, which is a multi-source agreement group that was created to standardize the laser wavelengths. So we are working on solutions that meet the CWWDM MSA requirement. And also our solutions work in both the O-band and C-band spectrum of the light communication. And also our optical interposer is a flexible solution. It's a flexible platform that can adapt to customer requirements. 
So we are excited to be uh, about this market opportunity and we will continue developing innovative solutions that are two things, right? Cost effective and scalable to high volume. So that's our primary goal. And we will continue working on various solutions in this space. Yeah, it's, it's quite amazing to see everything coming together as the team has architected it to be, as, as we've developed uh, this incredible technology and watching it uh, hit uh, the market and gain uh, some traction. But qu quite impressive. And thanks again, Raji, for your work and, and the, the hard work that you guys keep doing. Thank you, Adrian.